Hi guys, it's Renisi back again with another FHM video. This time we're in Season 11, Episode 5, documenting Barry McCock and his rise towards the NHL and eventually the Stanley Cup. We have 13 games left to play in our third season in the DEL. We're doing pretty good. We can't seem to get the job done in regulation sometimes though, but we still have 30 wins in 39 games, which on paper is incredible. The problem is, that's not good enough. Ingolstadt is an absolute powerhouse right now. What is wild to me, they have not won a single game that's gone to overtime. I believe three of their OT losses were against us this year. Three of them. And sure, if that happens in playoffs, you would think, oh, we were undefeated against them. We were only able to win nine of our 30 games after regulation. Either way, let's see what happens in our final 13 and where we end up in the playoff picture. These are our lines in game one of the episode against Berlin. Five to four. We got a regulation win. That's a good way to start the episode, isn't it? Josh Rendon was suspended for four games. Luckily, we have forward depth, so we'll cope. And we do just fine. Three to one win. Next game up, we're playing Bietigheim at home. Three to one win, baby. This is a huge game. And Gostad slipped up recently and they lost in regulation, meaning that if we win this, we are tied on points. This is a monster game. Every game we've played against this team thus far has resulted in an overtime or shootout win on our side. But can we finally get the job done in regulation or will they get one back and grow the gap to six points. The irony, of course, their first overtime win of the season is against us. Next game up, we're playing against Krefeld in their barn. Four to one win, we bounce back nicely. Next game up, we're playing against Adler Mannheim, our playoff rivals, can we get the job done? What a way to hit a hundred points. Jesus H. Cre <laughs> Six goals, including four in four minutes, not even, in the second mm -mm -mm. Our fans got their money's worth tonight. And we are dealing with injuries right before the playoffs. We're delaying this. I'm sorry, Staden, you're just too good. What I am going to do is rest him because Schlosser has been able to fill his role admirably before but we'll just rest him until playoffs and then we'll throw him in there around that time next game up we're playing is Landshut in their barn Parento's not in the lineup but Spusa can definitely carry the load as can Innes there you go four to one god damn we're all right all right after a break from hockey because of the winter olympics we're back playing against golf Bjorn at home three to one and Eric Scott with his return to Wolfsburg does well. Next game up, we're playing against Eisbach in Berlin at home. And we win in regulation. This is by far our best season ever. I mean, 109 points. That's good enough for first most years. Next game up, we are playing against Red Bull Munich away. And we lose in regulation. It's definitely a shot in the leg towards our title hopes. I was hoping we could get that first place after all we were a point behind Ingolstadt but unless they lose they've all but wrapped it up we've got three games left and our next opponent is Israel at home these are all must win games from now on because well we want to get that first place after all we want to try and catch Ingolstadt when they're sleeping and we win an OT it's a knock to our eventual title bid but two points is two points next game up we're playing against Köln away and we lose in the shootout that has wrapped things up for Ingolstadt. As of right now, they're the champions of the German league in the regular season. In our final game of the regular season, we're playing against a team that's likely going to be down and going to DEL2, Alex Borga Panther. And we smash them to bits at home. We finish the season with a 47 and five record with 115 points which did we have this record in the first year we would have been 
18 points ahead of second place. So we ended up finishing in second place, just like last season. And if you see in the top right corner of your screen, guess who's back? Back again, Eminem said it best. For the third season in a row, we are playing Adler Mannheim in the first round. What happens? You'll have to wait and see. Until then, that's it. That's all, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm nervous ahead of this first round, but I'm sure you guys are shaking in anticipation as am I. If you enjoy content like this, please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.